Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's something to me on Twitter, The Gaming Drag. Today I'm coming back at another Let's Play episode of Dawn Chorus, Jorgen's Path. So y'all, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Alright. <clears throat> I like it, usually. That's really cool. You have to give me the address. I never really dived into the local music scene. It's hard to find an in it's hard to find an entry point. <sighs> you just have to look for posters. We always hang a few around the city. And find the time to go there. But I'll try going when you're playing, at least. If I don't have practice, then. Appreciate it. Are you talking about the... Oh, God, not it. Nope. Yeah, that one. I, I took you there a few times, right? Just once. It was a cool place. I love the atmosphere, but I didn't really like the bands. It's a toss-up with the local bands. Most of them are playing on a proper scene for a crowd for the first or second time. I like live music. I like the energy, the atmosphere, the sound systems, the interaction with the band, the social aspect of it. Even if the bands aren't great, it's still an experience. I guess. I like concerts mostly for the music itself. You know what's social, interactive, and fun? Karaoke! That's the most fun you could possibly have. I'm, ha I'm happy there are so many in Anzlo, I never get bored of them. Do you think there might be one here? Likely, yes. And they always open in the late evening. There's no chance we'd find one this early. Yeah, right. And here are your teas. The timing is great. We're mostly done with the food already. This is Gyokuro. We're sharing all four. You can put them anywhere. Great choice. So this pot is Darjeeling, and the blue one is Enjuan, and this one is Lapsang. Good luck with that one. It's a bad sign when the server says something like this. Uh, thank you. These are already brewed. When you want your second brews, please ring this bell. And away he goes, leaving us, four, leaving us with four teapots and four small vessels that I imagine they're versions of teacups. Small and conical, plain and with no handle. Huh, these are fancy. Which one should we start with? I'd say let's start with the least oxidized, so Gyokuro first. Rune grabs the teapot, and one smooth motion later, three of our vessels are full. I grab my cup and lift it to my nose. The aroma is honestly plain weird. I don't even know how to, what to compare it to. Huh, this doesn't smell like tea. More like broccoli? I take a sip, and the taste is definitely not what I expected. It's vegetably and strong, without any hint of bitterness, but very savory. The broccoli comparison seems apt. What is this? This is the strongest green tea I know. It's plenty funky. I think they make it by shading the plants. It's one of the most expensive kinds. Hmm. This is delicious. Glad you think so. It's a bit too weird for me. I can see myself getting used to it eventually, though. I don't think I'll finish mine. Does any anyone want some? Of course, I love this. Not a fan of green tea? If they taste like this, definitely not. Most are easier to like. You might give some sentia a chance sometime. How about the next one, then? This one is an oolong, Zinjuan. It has a milky aroma and tastes a bit buttery. Buttery, huh? This should be interesting. I lift my cup with a dose of uncertainty. I lift it to my nose and... Hmm. It is interesting, but I don't know if it's good. I like it! It's creamy! Usumi, you don't feel it? Feel what? This smells like a person. That scent of clean skin fresh out of the shower underneath the fur. It's a pleasant scent, but it's really uncanny. Huh, it really does. Not at all. What are you talking about? Huh, you're right. I take a sip. But I take a sip. Honestly, this is very nice. No vegetable notes, just butter and slight sweetness. The taste is rather delicate, but pleasing. But still, it's great. Much better than the green one. I like them both. I couldn't really choose. They brew them really nicely here. They're not burnt or nor too weak. It's the worst when a cafe has high quality teas and just butchers them with awful brewing. Okay, so now is Darjeeling. Dar finish your cups and I'll pour you some. I finish the rest in one gulp. It rolls off my tongue nicely, leaving a rich milky aftertaste. Is this like infused with milk or? Oh, no, it's not infused with anything. This variety just tastes like that. This is definitely the weirdest I've ever tried. Now try this one. It's a black tea, but very different from your usual packaged stuff. Hmm, let's see, the smell reminds me of leaves, mostly, which makes sense, tea is leaves after all. The taste is very light and pleasant, very fresh despite this being a black tea. I was afraid it'd be too strong, but it's good! I wish all black tea tasted like this. For black tea, it's great! If all black teas tasted like this, I'd switch from coffee. You can find good ones for cheap, it doesn't have to be a Darjeeling to be good. I can always send you links to some good ones later if you want. Why not? I can check them out. I don't think my budget can afford another hobby, though. What's the other? Oh, right, photography. Sorry. Thank you, y'all. Water time. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, the cost of film and instant photos is killing me, honestly. I was thinking of just switching to all digital, but it doesn't scratch me. It doesn't scratch the same itch. I just like analog photography. I think I get it. Though, at least with a tea, you're spending money on something that's actually good for you and makes you feel nice. I like with alcohol. But yeah, it can't be good for the wallet. Then what hobbies are? You can get into making music in a DAW. Though, I think it's way less fun than doing stuff live. Or watch films, or sing. You don't need any instrument other than yourself for that. I lean back in my seat, soft cushions like a cloud underneath me. Only now that I notice the music playing. Very quiet and meditative. You know, this is really nice. Sitting here and drinking tea, I mean. I see the appeal now. Something about this has an otherworldly quality. As if the time was functioning differently here, detached from the world outside behind, outside the window. There's one more tea to try. Already? We nod, Rune pours just a bit, enough for two si for two sips into into each of a, into each of our cups. I lift mine to my nose again. A smell of a campfire and burning wood hits me instantly. My brother's in hell, Carvin! My brother's in hell, Carvin! What did you order? It's hmm. I'm afraid of this. Okay, I see what they mean by smoky aroma. It's like smoked fish, only without fish. Still, it might be good. Don't judge beverages by the smell alone. A small, cautious sip. Hey, it's not bad. It won't become my favorite, but it's not terrible. I don't think I'd drink a whole teapot of it, though. Just sipping on it is fine. You can sip out all of my quarter of it. I've had enough. Me too. I'm not really a fan, but I'm glad someone liked it. So, which one to pour you next? I feel dizzy. Huh? Is everything alright? Yeah, just too much tea, I think. I knew tea had caffeine, but I didn't know how much, and apparently it's a lot. Ah, I don't feel much. Maybe you're not used to drinking caffeine. But it was worth it. It was a nice experience being there. I really chilled out. It was good to have something like this after a few hours of lectures. Wind ruffles the fur on my head, cool and fresh, blowing from the sea. Looking around, everything seems more colorful and sharp now. Beautiful in the evening sunlight. Yeah, I feel that too. That and the caffeine kicking in. I hope I'll be able to sleep today. By the way, what are your plans? I'm asking because I want to visit a local art space and we'd have to turn left here to reach it. I hope to watch sunset from the coast. It's not that close to the west of the island, so I better start going there now. I didn't have any, but an art space sounds interesting. I've never been in I've never been in anything of the sorts. Come along then. These places are always great. And I'd better get going if I want to catch the sunset. So see you later by the bus. See ya! See ya! I'm gonna go around for a walk and see town. If that gallery is somewhere in the center, we can walk there together. It's in the harbor, so I'd say so. Okay, lead the way then. We move towards the coast, the breeze gentle on our faces. Just the three of us, as we spent the last day, as we spoke, as we woke up this morning. As much as I like being with Jorgen, I'd be happier if Lake joined us too. We work well as- we work so well as a group, and with them I feel like I'm part of something. The organ alone? I feel nervous when I'm alone with him. I'm worried that I'll say something unsensible and, he's, and his thinking of me will change. That I'll take a wrong step somewhere. He's intelligent. He's smart. He knows so much. It's my first time meeting someone like him, and I'm afraid he'd look down on me if I'd make a fool of myself. This town is fantastic. Just look at how many colors there are, there are around. It's a shame the trip is so short. I'll have to return here sometime and spend a few days here. And see it at night, too. Just imagine how beautiful it must be here in autumn. I imagine, yes. Maybe they have something. They have some sleeping options in place in the place we're going to. <laughs> if yes, then we could come and stay here someday. Oh, that would be the best! Do you really think they'd let us stay? Depends, but possibly. If I get to know some of the artists working there, it shouldn't be a problem. There's no better place to meet people than artistic venues. I think we're here. I'm not sure which building it is, though. Maybe that one? It has gallery... Gary Milkman written on it. Ah, yes, thank you. I barely see the sign from here, let alone read it. Second, y'all. It is water time. Hmm. Oh, that's water. That's good water. Uh, don't you need new sunglasses? It's not a great distance, even. Yeah, I'll have to go to the optometrist sometime soon. But even with my gla- with, but even with glasses, my eyesight isn't great. Okay, so have fun there. I'll go see the rest of the coast. Maybe I'll catch the last moments of the sunset. Thanks. Good luck. So, we're heading in? Just a moment. I wanted to talk with you first. The cold sweat ran down my back. 
What could this be about? Jorgen's face is completely serious, but I can't read anything from it. Could this be something about last night? I don't know what it could be, though. I, we've only slept in one bed, cuddled up together. I didn't go any further than Jorgen led me, led me to himself. Led me to himself. I'm worried about Rune. I didn't want to mention it with Lake around, but because he, sh because, because he would get worried, too. And I'd rather him spare him that, but maybe you could help. Uh, frankly, I was worried a bit, too. He's overworking himself, that's obvious. But he seemed dejected this morning, not only tired. He didn't want to talk when I asked him, but I'm afraid there's something going on. And you think he'd tell me? You two seem to be better friends than him and I. I was thinking of paying him a visit this evening, after the film. Or maybe we could take him to the roof and talk there. Sounds fine to me. I hope for some more time to get to know him. Nervous as I am, but if he thinks Rune needs, needs that, I won't argue. Maybe he's right. Fantastic. We can go now. I follow Jorgen, pausing in my pockets, thinking. I haven't been in a gallery since that last, since the last high school trip, and I'm not sure if I'll enjoy them. I agreed only because Jorgen wanted to go. But maybe I'll like it this time. It doesn't seem like a usual gallery, at least from the outside. And really, why, and really, why didn't I enjoy the ones I've been in? Maybe I wasn't looking at the paintings the right way. I don't think there's one right way to look at paintings, but there sure are wrong ones. Being there only be only because our teachers decided we should go, that's always discouraging. Rune, what could be on his mind? Heading towards the coast, he looked like he needed some time alone. Maybe there really was something wrong. <laughs> but I don't want to think about it now. I'm with your I'm with Jorgen now, and though I was anxious about stay about staying with him alone again, no now I'm no longer. Walking after him I feel a pull, keeping me at his side. In the darkness, a boundless expanse, a light gleams. In a space apart from time, there is a house, and smoke rises from its chimney. I'm right where I should be. Oh. Hmm. It's empty. We entered through the main entrance and nobody greeted us. There was no ticket office, but standing inside now, I don't think this is the kind of place that would have one. But where are the visitors? And where are the artists? There's only this triptych on the opposite wall. Three canvases of red in this huge concrete hall, reinforcements running along the walls and ceiling like ribs. It's only this triptych on the opposite wall. Ugh. Oh, I feel small here. Too small. The painting beacons me forward. I blink and it clicks. It's a rib cage. We're inside of a whale, quiet and desolate, slowly dissolving. It's not dinner time anymore, is it? It's awfully quiet here. Thank you, y'all. Water time. <clears throat> Though the doors were open, we should look through the through the ateliers. There must be someone working here now. Where should we check first? You're asking me? I've never been in this sort of place. I have no idea what to expect. I kind of feel like you didn't really want to be here. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you didn't seem too interested in this kind of art. Well, I <clears throat> I don't know. I thought it'd be nice to see this place if you think it could be interesting, even if it's not usually my thing. I get it completely. So, I don't want you to feel like you're just following me inertly. Now I can follow you for a bit. And you can explore this place at your own tempo. I think that could be more interesting to both of us. Maybe. Yeah. So... The upper level. How about we check the what's upstairs? Sure. Lead the way. Oh. Interesting. Let's see. Okay. I start walking up the stairs to the upper level. Something in me wants to turn back and walk towards the paintings. The three large fields of colors like an immovable monolith fixed in space and time. They feel like something from beyond. I'm going to turn away from them and walk up the stairs, Jorgen following me. Hmm, no one here either. I don't think this part is even open. If it wasn't, then why wasn't there a sign or some tape blocking the way? The whole place is empty, apart from a single ladder standing in the middle of the room. There are spotlights every few meters, ovals of sharp light illuminating nothing but the cold floor and bare walls. A chill runs down my spine. I'm not sure why, but I don't feel comfortable here. Maybe it's the way the whole place feels like a skeleton, bare bones exposed in bleached white in the cold light of the spotlights. I think we'd better head back down. This looks like the main showcase space. There's nothing here at the moment. I'm afraid our timing is the worst possible. We've arrived right between two expedition, two exhibitions. Still, there have to be some people here. We should check the rest of the ground floor. I try not to glance at the red paintings this time, but I can feel them behind me. A burning sensation in my neck. Wait, we got a little bit more content to get through, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks.
All right, if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.